Hey planners, it's Tay of Shantae Plans and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be memory planning the week of March 28th to April 3rd and I'm using a beautiful kit from Sadie Stickers. If you are new to my channel, I do memory planning in which I have a plum paper planner in which I just write down my plans that I don't decorate with stickers. And then I have this beautiful planner which is my Sadie Stickers vertical planner and I use sticker kits to decorate and memory plan those weeks. So um, this week week is um, documenting a vacation that I took which is a cruise vacation to Mexico and um, if you haven't seen the previous video right before this I highly recommend checking that one out first as it has the beginning part of this vacation and the beginning of the stories and we will be picking up from there so I'm going to get started by putting down the base of this spread which includes doing the bottom washi and the funny thing was when I actually started planning out these two weeks, I started this week before doing the week that was that came right before it. Um, and this and when I sat down to do this kit to use this kit, this was the first time I had ever done my own bottom washi section, which I ended up doing the same thing in the week that was right that precedes this um, for the first part of my vacation. But I but this but because chronologically I worked on this spread first, this was actually the first time I had given it a try and I was had so much fun it was really fun and different and unique and I was I like took the time to like make a reel and everything because I was just like I've never tried this this is fun this is new um and so it was a very exciting moment in my planner life um and so I'm going to put down my bottom washi create my own little scene down here then move up to the date covers go into my sidebar and then get started on the day by day but I want to get into sort of the storytelling part of this vacation because I have a feeling I'm going to talk a lot and um so uh, if you have any questions about any of the stickers I'm putting down go ahead and leave that in the comments and um, probably towards the end of the video I'll get back into more being able to talk about the stickers uh, but let's get into what was happening on this here cruise vacation so if you saw the first part we ended off with um, our sea day in which I had a wonderful um, day that ended with a couple's massage and <laughs> me falling asleep on the massage table and startling myself awake several times um so yeah that was that was a special moment of memories and going into this week um and so monday monday was actually the first day that we had a port day where we got off the ship and so we were in mazatlan my first time in Mazatlan absolutely beautiful um and so the first thing we did was we got up and went to breakfast in, in the Windjammer in the buffet area at the ship it's like our favorite place to go get breakfast because they have like a huge variety and you can get all different types of food it's really nice and convenient um and after we got off the port we had scheduled an excursion which included um a, like a short tour um around old Mazatlan which was really cool and then we got on a ferry which took us over to a place called Stone Island and it was really great because the excursion that we had booked came with once you got to the island two activities and lunch and then of course we were like on the beach and so we had like our, our beach chairs and section area um and access of course to the water um and the beach club was really nice and so um one of my favorite types of excursions to do when I'm on a cruise vacation because I feel like if you're going to do that type of a beach day it's really nice um, because then you have all of the amenities and things around you and then plus the additional activities and so um, the two activities that I picked because I actually had like um, I want to say like five or seven different activities you could choose to participate in and you could pick from the list what you wanted to do and so I selected um, horseback riding and the banana boat ride so horseback riding um if you have not seen <laughs> I feel like this was a couple years ago um on another vacation that I went on in which I had talked about my relationship with dolphins and um I'm not gonna say that dolphins are are terrible creatures they're not they're they're probably good creatures um but I'm um, my personal opinion is that dolphins are nothing but sharks with better PR. That's it. That's what they are. Um, they come across all friendly and stuff, but they can be water bullies. And anywho, back to the point. We're so we're we're in Mazatlan. We decide to go do this horseback riding thing. B gets on his horse. He's in the saddle. So I go 
to get on my horse. Um, we're a part of a group that's going to to ride these horses. I'm getting on my horse and I see B, he's got like his legs in the stirrup. He's situated on his horse. Everything is great. I am 5'1", I'm quite short. I got on my horse, my feet did not reach the stirrups. And um, so I'm trying to like flag down the guy who's at that point trying to help other people in our tour group get on their horses. And I'm explaining to him that my slides are coming off my feet. They're not sitting in the stirrups on this horse. So I'm feeling very unstable propped up on this horse and, and and when you sit on a horse you're reminded immediately how high off the ground you are those things are huge and I'm I'm dangling precariously and so I'm pointing at my shoes and explaining to him these are gonna fall off his solution oh no problem he takes my shoes off my feet just sets them off to the side so now I'm sitting on the horse barefoot my feet still don't reach the stirrups he seems totally oblivious to the fact that I don't feel stable and secure on this animal um he hands me the reins my horse immediately immediately snatches the reins out of my hands and is like no I really don't want you holding the reins I know what I'm doing you just sit there and that was the vibe I got and I was like okay um I'm just I'm I'm gonna just hold on to this part at the front of my saddle and try to stay with myself and I was gripping that horse with my thighs for all dear life I was like, oh my God, I don't want to fall off this horse. And then it starts to move, right? Because the tour, the tour is starting. And these horses, they take this route several times a day, every single day. They know where they're going. They know what they're doing. And that's what I had to keep telling myself as we started taking off on this here little journey because I was terrified at this point. Because as the horse starts to move, you start to jostle. And when no part of you is stable on a horse and you're that high off the ground, every part of your body is in terror and I'm like oh my god and so then our tour guide goes everybody needs you to move over to the right he was trying to get us out of the road because a car was coming so I go to reach for my horse's reins to try to direct her over to the right she snatched them reins away from me so quickly and was like Heffa I thought I told you a second ago I didn't want you holding my reins sit there I know what I'm doing and I was like oh my god this I need to like not anger this horse because I my life is in her hands in this moment and I just want to make it through this ride please Jesus B meanwhile is like riding his horse in front of me holding the GoPro with one hand all secure with his feet in the stirrups with his horse reins in his other hands and he turns around and looks at me he's having the time of his life and he's all isn't this great aren't you having a great time and I was like um no no I'm sitting there like this is the craziest thing I have ever done and when I said that out loud my horse turned her head and gave me a side eye and then like snorted and it was like like right at my foot and I was just like oh Jesus I'm sorry she heard me and she understands English and now she is not happy oh I was certain death was coming for me immediately I was so sure that horse was just gonna be like I'm done with you get off me and just like buck me off her back and drop me in the middle of the road and I was like I don't want to die on a horse in Mexico please Lord just let me get through this so at that point, I had just resigned myself to say no more because I knew that horse was listening to me and we made it back. And by that point, I think my horse was done with me because um, like we as the horses made it back, like the horses were lining themselves up to go to the part where there was they would stand by this little platform so that the people could get off the horse and then walk down the steps because again horses are high off the ground. My horse cut in line so that I was like the second person to get off the horse. She was all the way done. I was like, you know what? I'm not mad at you because I'm ready to be done with you too. But such was my horseback riding adventure. After it was over, I look back on it with fond memories the next time I get on a horse I, I need to make sure my feet are in the stirrups my my that uh, my life flashed before my eyes several times on that short horse, horseback riding the banana boat adventure was much less dramatic absolutely fun one of the coolest and one of the funnest things ever loved it but the next day oh my gosh the next day we were in Puerto Vallarta which I'm sorry let me go back in case you're unfamiliar with what a banana boat ride is because I had no idea before I did it and so 
before I signed up for it, I actually saw someone else take the ride and I was like, oh my God, that's what I want to do for my second, um, my second um, activity. And so you're on this giant yellow raft, looks like a banana. It gets hooked up to the back of a little, what are those things called? Um, they're like small little boats that have a motor um, and the boat takes off in the ocean and because it's the banana boat raft is attached to it by a long rope as the boat takes off the raft takes off behind it and you're just like bouncing on the waves on this raft and it's so much fun and it's like a really long raft so you're on there with like about eight other people uh, which is really cool and during that ride I met two other really sweet young ladies um, who were on vacation, who were on the same cruise ship as me, and we all happened to have been um, doing the same excursion. And those two young ladies, I ended up seeing the next day when we were in Puerto Vallarta. And that was really cool because our excursion for Puerto Vallarta was a razor excursion. And so we were in this um, four seater, all terrain vehicle, off roading type vehicle. And you're on the side of a mountain <laughs> in Puerto Vallarta. And it's so freaking cool because you are driving along these trails on the side of the mountain and you're sort of just like following the leaders um, as you're as you're driving along this trail. And it was just incredible. So we were driving along this path um, and we drove all the way out to like this place where we hiked down to a waterfall and it was beautiful. And we spent some time just like playing in the water and, and enjoying the waterfall. And then we hiked back up to our vehicles and kept driving the rest of the route. Um, one of the funnest days of my life. I really enjoyed that type of thrilling um, ATVs um our razors um jet skis anything like that that's it's that adrenaline rush that just gets me that's my type of thing i would en i enjoy because i'm not adrenaline junkie to the point of like i'm going to skydive and jump out of a perfectly good plane absolutely not i, I don't have that type of bravery but driving on the side of a mountain where the car in front of you is kicking up so much dirt and dust you can barely see an inch in front of your face and you're paying as close attention as you possibly can to every curve in the road and the direction that the car in front of you is going because if you make a wrong turn you're gonna drive yourself off the side of this mountain and die and it was so funny because I knew B wasn't gonna want to drive that's that is we differ in that area so greatly he hates to drive and I love to drive and and it was so funny because the two girls I had met the day before on the banana boat ride when they told us we were going to be in groups of four for the Razor excursion because it was a four-seater vehicle um, and, and the tour group that we were a part of and people started breaking into groups of four and so it was just me and B so we needed two other people and I happened to see those two girls who um, I was on the banana boat ride with the day before they saw me and they came up to me and they were like we're gonna ride with you because we don't want to drive we're terrified we don't want to try to do this uh, we just want to be passengers and I was like word because I definitely want to drive and I was trying to be the type of person who was going to be like I'll share and you know halfway through this if anyone else wants to drive no one else in my group wanted to drive I had the best group it was so awesome because I wanted to drive the whole time it was so much like literally that was one of the best days of my life if I could go back and redo that day I absolutely would I had so much fun um I also really loved hiking down to that waterfall because it was so incredibly beautiful but yeah those two days of my vacation I thoroughly enjoyed um moving on to Wednesday um we were back on the ship it was another sea day and it was so great because um I was exhausted <laughs> after after the two days of adventure and and all the things that we were doing um and by the time we got to Wednesday I just I remember napping in the room for an like we got up absolutely was not going to the gym I was so tired we went to breakfast came back to the room for a little bit ended up taking a nap and it was wonderful uh and I ended up introducing B to Bridgerton <laughs> And I feel like sometimes timing is everything when it comes to getting B to watch shows that are very much um, Tay type shows where like Bridgerton is absolutely not something he would have ever sought out on his own. Um, but it was just great timing and I got him hooked and he liked it. And I was like, yes, 
<laughs> and so um, we got a chance to watch and enjoy Bridgerton and then we sat out on our balcony and enjoyed the waves. I love the ocean so very much. It's it, it's it's my favorite thing about cruising. Um, there is just nothing more beautiful than, than the ocean. Um, I think growing up in Southern California, one of the, the, my favorite things and one of the things I feel so blessed and grateful is being so near the ocean and just... I have such a love and respect for it. it. It's it is my happy place. If I could live on the beach, I absolutely would. Oh, um, so catching up to where we are here on to Thursday, um, which we were still on the ship. It was another sea day, um, and so we did a little shopping around the promenade um, on the ship, um, and ended up getting like um, they always have like shirts. On, on the cruise ship you're on that have like the name of the ship that you're on in like large block letters on the back of it almost look like sort of jersey type shirts but not they don't look like jerseys I think the, the lettering is what makes me think of a jersey because the shirts themselves don't look like jerseys at all um I <laughs> think I'm probably explaining that incorrectly um and then we went to like the different shows and things um around the ship the ice skating shows are always my favorites um they're incredible because it's like a mix of ice skating and acrobatics and theater and really good music and just they're incredibly entertaining and those people are so talented and um and for myself um because I love ice skating knowing how difficult ice skating can be when you're stable on land the fact that they do it on the ocean is just incredible to me with a moving ship There's, those people are so talented um we went to the hooked seafood restaurant i mean the food we ate was so great the entire the food was just amazing um and so we went to the hook seafood bar seafood bar seafood restaurant i think we were doing that for lunch i'm just reading through my planner here try catching up with my plans and then we went to trivia oh my god that is it was so much fun it's just like random general trivia and so we were in the schooner bar on on the ship and it was just a lot of fun like um they would ask questions and um b and i were just doing it together and so we were just like working on trivia and we ended up winning which was really exciting and fun then we went to the comedy show that evening it was a great way to relax and unwind and finish off the day and then on to friday which was the last day of the cruise and so typically on your last day of your cruise you wake up you go to breakfast grab your bags and stuff and and you get ready to disembark the ship and so because we were driving home that made it really easy for us because um we kept our bags with us and just walked off the ship with them and went right to our car put bags in the car and drove home so it was super easy uh, and got home it was payday yay <laughs> and um oh and then i did a lot of thinking whilst i was on this cruise and realizing um that summer was going to end up being a little bit more hectic than i originally thought and as i say that it's so funny to think back to where i was at this point just on april 1st and as i'm doing this voiceover now in the middle of july um if I only knew then how right I was because I decided to cancel the summer planner collab for this year because I had a feeling it was going to be really difficult to coordinate that with all of our schedules um I had no idea how right I was and I'm so glad I canceled that because there's just no way we would have been able to pull that off my schedule Lauren's schedule Ray's schedule and Kiara's schedule just so so busy um and it makes me a little bit sad because it's one of the things I've truly enjoyed doing with those ladies and something we started when we were in quarantine where it was so much easier um, to coordinate everyone's summer schedules but um, we ended up having to cancel it just because timing it was just not going to work um, so very very sorry about that but um, I still love all my planner besties and um then what is to say i posted a patreon zoom class details oh i i this was before i canceled my patreon which that cancellation's coming up too um and then i was working on ray and tate which um i think this was right before we were getting ready to have the oop sale so on to saturday i painted my nails got some gross did some grocery shopping was definitely working on ray and tay and checking inventory making sure we had the correct count of everything that we were going to be listing for the oop sale um i am 
so proud and, and so proud of Ray and Tay and the business that we've created and all of the hard work that we've put into it. It's definitely one of those things that has contributed to, you know, sort of taking my time and my focus and if I and and helping and helping me um, showing me how much I needed to like reevaluate and rebalance my time uh, because it's it's really not easy to um, have a full time job, have a personal life, own your own business. Um, and also keep up with planning and filming and editing for YouTube. And so there's, it's a lot of things sort of pulling at my time. And, and I think learning to rebalance that has been one of the more difficult things I've been dealing with this year. Um, but I'm trying my best. Uh, and on to Sunday, I did some sticker shopping, probably for kids, because I was pretty sure at that point, I knew I didn't have any summer kids and summer was coming up quickly. I um, was doing some planning, I created an Instagram reel, I watched Moshi's super long haul, uh, which is so funny as I say that she's recently uploaded yet another long haul, um, had lunch, watched Brother Chin with B. B and then worked on an April journaling spread. And that is it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my crazy vacation antics and I hope you're all having an amazing day. I love you and I'll see you next video. Bye.